So we took a quick detour on the Blue Ridge Parkway. It was closed in a section due to some flooding. So we got pushed to a local road and came across the Williamson Mead and Cider Tasting Room. They're open Wednesday through Saturday uh, in the winter hours currently and Sunday 11 to 6. So we're going to head in and do a quick tasting, wet our whistle while we're on our drive, and then get headed back uh, southbound. Okay, so where are you guys from? Tampa. Tampa, Florida. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little chilly here today for you. A little bit. Yeah. It's actually pretty good right now. Have you ever had mead before? No. At a Renaissance Fair. At a Renaissance Fair? Yes. Okay. Well, we um, have four ciders and the rest are meads on tap. This is our list. You're more than welcome to take one. Okay. Look at it. Um, mead is um, alcohol made with honey. Got so it. there's no hops, there's no wheat, hmm. and then our ciders, of course, are apples. So we make traditional meats, which are um, just different types of honeys. There's no nothing else in them. And then we make um, what we call melomel meats, which are meats with fruit hmm. juices. Nice. Okay. Very cool. And then our ciders too. So we have quite a few to choose from. Um, you guys, we, we don't rush people. You take your time. Um, we do flights. You can share them. If you don't, if you want to just share a taste between the two or three of you, mm -hmm. or if you each want to get five different ones. Most of our flights, are each one is $2. We have a couple that are upgraded. Um, all of our meads are 7.5% alcohol, except for the two upgrades and those are 12%. We have, we have some Vikings that come here and they complain that we didn't have them strong enough. <laughs> so he made them some strong ones. Okay. All of our Very ciders, cool. we have four ciders. They're all 8.5% alcohol. Cool. So after a quick inside tour, uh, we decided to do a flight with 10 different uh, selections that they have. There's some traditional meads that we'll have, there's some ciders that we're gonna have, and there's some other flavored ones. The host was super nice. Um, there's some pretzels that give you some water so you can really take your time, taste each one, then clear your palate and move on and decide what you really like. So we're looking forward to, to going through our flight. We'll follow in shortly as we get through them and show you what we got. This is the Freya mead and it smells so amazing. I know. Ryan really loves it when I do the smell. Oh my God, it's amazing. This starts off with hints of strawberry. Oh, and it's, oh it's delicious. Starts with hints of strawberry and finishes off with a blackberry tartness. Mm. Wow. Wow, right? All right, I'm driving today, guys, but I'm gonna taste a few anyway. Scald. Oh, never mind. That's a different one. This place is very Viking themed. Even though I don't normally like tart, I'm really more of a sweet drink kind of guy. It really has a great flavor profile all the way through. That's one I could definitely grab. There we go. Look at the color on that. Oh, wow. That's, so, that's just pretty just looking at it. That's the Vassier, that's the Blue Beer. Yep, yeah, Vassier. Smells like being in a blueberry field, picking blueberries. Sure. Uh -huh. The blueberry hint, the, it's a little less of a hint of the blueberry flavor, but the honey, really shines through on that mead. <laughs> and it really, to me, it smells like when we're out in the field picking blueberries at home in Florida. So this is Galos. Okay. This is a Madagascar no, the vanilla no. bean. This is the vanilla one. That, that was a, a big favorite of yours. I know. Um, some people describe it like a boozy cream soda. 
that one won North Carolina um, <coughs> Need of the of the Year 2023. Yes. Nice. His award is the plastic shape of North Carolina, but yeah, that okay. was. Good. Like, like, like some people ago. use that with like ice cream and stuff. Yeah, mm, I can see you using that into like, yeah, if you made like a velvet hammer, you could, could uh, infuse that into the ice cream. That'd be good. I can see that. Oh boy. It's like a nine or a ten. Is that dangerous? Yeah. That's vanilla. Mm -hmm. That's like fresh vanilla bean. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Here comes the host with the most. This is the Bragi. Okay. So this is blood orange with uh, a hint of cranberry. Okay. Ooh, that's got a different smell than everything. Else. That's it's but very it's unique. Yeah, it's really unique. Mmm. That's amazing. Good smell. That's really good. That could be a that that's up there. Yep. That's up there for me. Okay, this is the Leviathan. Okay. okay, this is the one you just added. So go ahead, dear. We'll let yeah. you. That something that was on the number seven. Was, so we're on eight, number eight, eight now. Yep. Just so you can keep track of what we did. And that is. That's a twelve percent. Uh, traditional, traditional sweet mead. Is that as good as the first one? Maybe in a water. Wow. <laughs> it was a, it was a scale to ten, babe. Oh, look at the color on that. Now that is Fafner's blood. That is dragon fruit, strawberry, and cranberry. That was my pick. So, you... <laughs> See you later, sir. Sorry. So at the beginning, you should taste the, the dragon fruit and the strawberry, and then the cranberry should be as, like the aftertaste your after... on your tongue. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is the Tropa Dragon. Okay. So it's mango, guava, and cranberry. cranberry. That's you. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely one of the first ones I, I, I looked at. Mmm, that mango profile really. Right there, right there. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That tastes like something I would get sitting on that little resort at uh, Maya Chan Beach Resort when we're mm -hmm. down in Mexico. Oh yeah. That tastes just like anything that they, you know, when I tell them, make me something with mango. <clears throat> this is the last cider, the last one, and this is Dixie. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good old peach. Okay. That was really good. You know me, I like peach. I like the peach meat better. I, I might like the meat better, slightly, slightly. Now, as we mentioned before, this has got a huge Viking influence, especially with many of the names of the meads, which uh, uh, you heard us talking about during the tasting. The owner has a shrine for Odin, and every season when he makes uh, new flavors or meads, he comes out and he leaves a portion for Odin himself. Very traditional very cool thing to find as well well that was a treat yeah we liked it so much we're buying a couple bottles it's a beautiful place that we just happened to fall upon and it's so peaceful it was just find it let's go we're here and that's why they call it the scenic route and that is about as scenic of an area as you can get up here off the blue ridge mountains so when you're in the area, make sure you take the scenic route and stop on by for a quick drink. If you've liked what you've seen here today, please like and subscribe. It only takes a second and it really helps out the channel. See you next time on the scenic route.